name is Annette, and you might know me on social media as Netters Plays. And today I'm going to talk to you about a game that deals with seasons. And this game is called Miramis. Now, Miramis is a game that is all about ants, where you are controlling an ant colony and raising different types of ants, like soldier ants, worker ants, nursing ants, and so on. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to control the area that's above the ground along with being productive with your own colony. Now, let me give you a general overview of the game board itself and show you exactly how the seasons and the time of the year affects the gameplay itself. So this is a simple setup of the game Mermaids for a two player game. Now, each player is going to have their individual ant colony board right here where this is going to be pretty much the worker placement actions of the game. So you'll be working here on your own personal out colony and producing different types of things or completing different actions that are set out in the real world in the backyard of someone's house. So what you're going to do here is on this main board, you're going to confront other ant colony workers, soldiers, and you're also going to fight predators like spiders or ladybugs or even termites. And along with exploring the yard, you're also going to be gathering and harvesting different things like food and stone or even dirt. You also have certain objectives to complete at the top of the board. These will give you extra points if you complete those objectives throughout the course of the game. So I'm more interested in showing you this portion of the game board. This is the season track right here. You're going to have these seasonal dice. You're going to play three full years, and at the beginning of every year, you're going to roll these three dice. Now, these three dice, you're going to go ahead and place them where they belong, either spring, summer, or fall. You're also going to have the winter time to deal with. But basically, these dice are pretty much going to show you exactly what type of bonus you're going to get that season. So, for example, this four, you're going to get a number four bonus that season. And then you can foresee what will be coming in summer and even fall for that year. The cool thing about this too is that you always know that winter's coming. This is where you have to always forfeit some amount of food depending on what time of year you are playing in. If you're in the first year, the second year, or the third year. And you progressively have to give up more and more food. So you have to get better and more efficient in the game throughout the course of the whole three years. So again, if you rolled that four, you would put your marker over that four value on your player map. And then the bonus is what you're going to receive for that season. Now, if you don't like that bonus or you would prefer the bonus next to it, you can also use the larva from your larva room and place it right next to it. And then you can receive that bonus instead. You can also move it above that number as well. If you have more larvae, of course you can add more, so therefore you can have a couple more options based on how many larvae you're using to mitigate that role. So these bonuses are going to help you every season throughout the game. They can award you higher points whenever you receive points, or even more larva or harvest better. You can also move on the map faster, expand quicker, or just get more soldiers or workers and so on. So these bonuses are very handy and are crucial to the game. And it's all based on those seasonal dice. So as you saw in that general overview, you can see how the dice really affect the game. It's very slight and simple in this huge game. However, it kind of shows you what kind of bonuses you're going to have. And also that winter time is always coming. So you know what you have to prepare for. So you always have this sense of objective with the game. The cool thing about Miramis itself too, is that because the game is consistently progressing through three years, you're becoming more and more efficient with the game. However, that winter time is getting harsher and harsher. So you have to prepare yourself even more and more throughout the course of three years. So that's something that I just really love about this game. It's not very simple. It's a very complex game, but I just love how you just go through the different years and kind of learn in this game how to deal with the effects of the seasons itself.